Good morning and welcome to Mount Hotham. Four hours north of Melbourne and about eight south of Sydney. Just here at the top of the Heavenly Valley chairlift, did you see that? And then from Heavenly goes across to the Gotcha Keos and over to the Orchid. And there you got the panorama with Mount Feathertop off in the distance. Just had a good drive up this morning from Harrietville. There's the Roadrunner chair. So it's certainly worth it just for the drive and you see the beautiful scenery, but we're here today to go skiing. So as we approach the resort, you can see here, the Roadrunner chair goes over the road. And that's what makes Hotham certainly unique in Australia, I wouldn't say around the world. And that's because the Alpine village is actually at the top of the mountain. And not at the bottom, which is the norm. So there's Hotham Central and the main part of Hotham. At the... Then we have the village chair right next to it. So you still have the main beginner area, the car park and the centres all next to each other. But for 90% of the resort, it's everything's at the top and then you ski down to the bottom where there's none of that. And here's a good viewing spot, famous on the cams out the front of Swindlers where everyone can watch everyone doing the jumps playing in the trade park. Another good thing about Hotham and unique to it is the whole beginning area is at the top. So this area here, you've got Summit, the Summit Trainer Pommer, the road runner lifted to bring you up from sort of mid-mountain a bit higher. And you're in, a, you're in your own area. You've still got everything here. you still got a terrain park. You've still got a race course over there, so you can do it all. And you can ski down out of bounds if you're keen for some exercise to hike back up. But the best thing is you don't have all the more advanced skiers in your area. They're in a good segregated area here. And one reason for that, because the best part of it is out where I showed you earlier, from Heavenly Valley over towards the Orchid. So you can see today, most things are open. As we look at the trail map, the only thing that's not open is blue ribbon on the left there, which hasn't opened this season due to lack of snow. And the other quick one is Big D also, there on the left has its own beginner area which is segregated from everyone which is even greener again and good for that but the best of it is here it's the same off the village chair which we're right next to the top of that off road runner can be good a heavenly valley chair which i reckon has got the best of it and then over to what they call the extreme zone between gotcha and keos and then over to the orchid where you can ski around to the other side they are good runs there like mary slide and and gotcha and stuff. It's just a long way to get back because you've got to ski all the way down to the bottom, back on the heavily, and then get it back across the gotcha. So now down at what you'd say is the southern end of the resort on the dinner plane side. And there's Big D with its own beginner area and the Jack Foss area. As you can see, the accommodation, accommodation continues to wrap around the top of the resort. One thing good with the bus stops and the bus service here can take you down. There's a lot more parking south of the resort as well. But good at night for getting around. You've got no big hill climbs, you've got a good flat road. As you can see the village over there. With the road runner chair above it. And then there's the bulk of the resort and the best part. You can see the heavenly chair where, where we started off. Going to Keo's Gotcha and over to Orchid there. So Hotham is a predominantly east facing resort. And just here. About 10 o'clock in the morning on, in early August. How good does that look? You can see the aspect where the bulk of the resort gets the sun first thing and for most of the day. But as you can see there where you got all the gullies off uh, Heavenly, Snake, Slalom, side of uh, just above Mary's and that there. They'll still stay in the shade for a fair while and it'll chop and change during the day as it wraps around. And then on the other side of the resort, that'll cop all the sun in the afternoon and you can ski off to the right there and go around the Orchid. But anyway, we'll get out there now and shuttle to you on the GoPro. But definitely looking straight ahead here at some of the best skiing in Australia, without a doubt, I believe. And a lot of fun to be had out here.